everybody. Today we have Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 2 laptop. It's an Intel Core i5 11 Gen. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can upgrade, fix or replace. So let's start with the bottom screws. Now we need to take off the bottom case, so find the gap between the bottom case and the palm rest and use the plastic prying tool. Don't use the metal one or you will scratch the other parts. Once you find the gap, work your way around the edge to release all the hooks. Okay, the bottom is out. Mm. Now we have access to all the internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Slide out the connector. Now we can take out all the screws. Okay, so that's our battery. Here we have part number, model number. So if your battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Now, here we have under that cover, we should have the memory. So let's lift the cover. Oh, there's one screen here. Okay, now spread those arms. And you can take out the memory. So the memory you can upgrade or replace if it doesn't work. Now we can disconnect the Wi-Fi card. So be careful, those wires are fragile. Unscrew one screw. Now we can pull out the Wi-Fi card. Here we have model number, part number. Now we can take out our storage, that's an SSD drive. So if your laptop doesn't boot, says that it, it cannot find the operating system or the boot device, or you would like to upgrade your storage, that's how you do it. That's the NVMe drive. Okay, now we can take out the heat sink and the fan. So if your cooling doesn't work, laptop overheats, crashes or the fan is making grinding noise or doesn't spin replace this part so take out all the screws disconnect from the motherboard okay now we can take it out one more screw here Watch out for the cables, they are rooted here. We can disconnect that I.O. board already. Okay. So our heatsink fan assembly are out. Here we have the part number. Now we can, oh, let's wait with this. Uh, let's disconnect everything from the motherboard and let's unscrew all the screws. That's the touchpad cable. Mm, disconnect the speaker. Let's take out all the screws. 
Also, you have to take out the screws for the hinges because they cover partially the motherboard. We will be taking out the other board as well. So let's unscrew the other hinge. Now let's disconnect the video cable for the screen. Let's keep the CMOS battery with the board. Now we have to unfold the laptop to unfold the hinge. Now we can disconnect everything. So let's take out the memory. Here on the back we have the keyboard connector, so disconnect it. Okay, and that's our motherboard. Look for the part numbers on this white stickers usually, probably this one here. Now we can take out our I.O. board. It has our network port, port and the USB port, so in case if those ports don't work, you can replace this board. Here we have the part number. Now, looks like the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot disconnect it. You could take out the touchpad if the touchpad doesn't work, so you could do that. We can take out the speaker, so if your sound is bad, you can replace it. Those are our speakers. That's our touchpad, keyboard assembly. Here we have the part number. And here we have our screen left. It's usually sold in one piece. Here we have the model part number for it. It's easier to replace the whole screen than just the LCD because they're so fragile, you may break it. If you need parts, check catlaptopparts.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.